You know, nobody really wants to get divorced, right? Nobody plans to get divorced. And so, and for me especially, I grew up around so much love. You know, my parents have been happily married for 34 years this year. All my aunts and my uncles, you know, I grew up seeing functional marriages and I went into my marriage with the intention of it, you know, being long lasting, being able to provide my family, my children, you know, with that love and that support and that um, really grounding that I was able to, you know, the gift that I got of love, you know, growing up. And so that really was my dream, you know, and so um, it's been a process, it's been a transition, you know, but as everything in life, what I'm learning and realizing is that, you know, everything for a reason. I'm at a place of surrender and I'm at a place of peace, really, peace, and it took it took a really long time for me to get to this place and the truth is that anything in life that costs you your peace is, is expensive and it's a little too expensive, you know, especially given that I have brought, you know, my most important, precious, you know, gift into this world we have, you know. And so, you know, she is who I'm focusing on, she's who we are focusing on, you know, and that's, that's all that matters, her happiness and that despite, you know, what has happened, and our current reality, you know, we're gonna to continue to fight for her happiness. It's changed me in many ways. I mean, we are a product of our experiences, right? And so um, I really have come out um, on this side, a, a new person. Um, I would say maybe more than anything else, the recognition and acknowledgement that health goes way beyond the working out five to six times a week and you know eating healthily and really focusing on that part of health health is everything you know there are so many components of health there's emotional health there's mental health and um, when those are compromised everything can be compromised especially being in the profession of health and fitness you know it I think that that was one of my hardest struggles and obstacles is that even though I was doing all the traditional you know forms of health you know and practicing that you know working out regularly eating healthy and all of the things that I you know prescribe and I preach and I you know really encourage people to embrace that can all be lost if you don't have it emotionally together if you don't have it mentally together I really focus on kind of putting my perfectionism at rest. You know, perfectionism has been a blessing and a curse on me. I think that's how I've kind of gotten through my entire life, right? When I'm in something, I give it my all, my, my 100%, and I've learned as a mother that sometimes you just have to let it go. It can't be perfect because guess what? Perfection does not exist, whether we like it or not. And so I've had to learn to step away, to be able to release something, you know, before it was, you know, exactly how I wanted it to be because perfection takes time and time and time and time. And as a mother, there are certain things that you have to compromise. Next for Camp Camila, I'm actually wrapping up my book. I have been writing a book for two years and it really is a mind, body, spirit approach to lifestyle change. And so it kind of wraps up all of the facets of health and you know how one really undergoes a change not just in what we eat because it's very specific it lays out 16 the sweet 16 laws i call them of lifestyle change um, where nutrition is concerned but it also really embodies the spiritual parts of, of change there are a lot of things that we can't hold on to when we're really trying to change our lives happiness is everything you know fight 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 for relationships, right? Fight for the love, but you have to know when your fight is over, right? You have to know when your fight is over. You have to know when you have given it your absolute all and there's nothing left of you to give, right? But yourself, 
and that's not okay. We, ourselves, our bodies are, are a force for God to use to you know, do what he puts us on earth to do. Once we are alive, we have purpose, right? And so when we are on, in unhappy, unhealthy relationships, it's t it takes away our possibilities and our ability to really be who we are. And so I would say fight to the end until you feel like you have nothing more left and then give it to God. These last two years is when I really found God and when, you know, I really realized that, you know, he's here for me. He's always been here for me. And um, it really has been a beautiful transformation. You know, I've grown in him through support of, you know, some Bible study sisters that I have. We meet once a week and, you know, through the word, I've been able to really strengthen up, you know, and just understand the power of him. and. You know, just knowing that he's got my back at the end of the day, you know, he, he's, he's all that I need, you know. And so even though life presents its various different obstacles on a day to day basis, you know, just to be able to give those obstacles up in prayer and surrender and know that it's, it's taken care of, that has been a huge breakthrough for me.